Oh, hey. Oh, hello. What a lovely day to be talking about such a tragic moment in history, you know? The Mara Mara accident. See, when this fishing industry, they were fishing for fish, they never knew that the big company was dumping all this waste that was full of mercury and contaminated the fish, which later contaminated the people and gave them huge, huge neurological disorders. Today, we'll be talking about it. Now you see, the Mata Mata disease, it gave lots of freaks of nature. People started shaking their hands and it all started from the fishing industry and how all the mercury went into the fish. And as the fish, as the mercury was going into the fish, the people were eating the fish. And as a result, made the neurological system very, very, very disruptive and caused the people to suffer with neurological disorder. So basically, right, Maramara disease, it started to affect the neurological system. So people started to have these weird, uh, scary ways of moving their hands and body. That's why it was called scary, because it was a scary disease. They would, they would see these people moving their hands almost really frequently and they, they started to get worried about the people. And more and more people uh, started doing it, the more they started to fear about the Japanese civilization and that they were going to get all contaminated and all become diseased by the huge disease that was, that was affecting the people. So they had to stop it before it infected all of the people of Japan. Examples show, here it is. That was one of the examples. Hard time getting it. So basically, the factory had a lot of money in that part of Japan. And stopping it was really hard because it kept on paying off scientists to prove that the, that the waste was not contaminating the people. Until a certain amount of people a lot, of, a lot of people started to get contaminated and even more and more increased every year. And soon they had to stop it. So a scientist, a famous scientist decided to stop it and prove that the factory was dumping mercury and affecting the people. Okay, so some Japanese scientists started testing on cats, pussy cats, pussy cats, and started seeing that as they were testing the cats, they started to realize more and more that the disease was real and it wasn't some myth out there. Uh, because of the factory dumping waste in the bay, it caused a disruption in the fish ecosystem because they started to eat the mercury that was being dumped in the bay and it disrupted the, their ecosystem because they started getting disease because of the mercury that was dumped in there. Yeah, you know, some people uh, are still hospitalized, you know? They're still in the hospital trying to get it out of their system. They're still neurologically disabled. Did you know that? Yes, I did. Thank God these have the factories when they did, right? Yeah, I know, right? Well, this is Raphael and Dimitri reporting to you about the Monoma disease. Hope you're informed. See you later. A famous scientist, Ingong Chingoma, decided to stop the whole thing.